Hi everyone, it's Marcy Bullock with some tips from the Career Development Center on how advisors can help students. We're really excited that you're interested in the work that we're doing because we see ourselves in the Career Development Center as partners with all of the advisors around the entire campus. We know that students come to you with career questions and hopefully today you'll learn some more about the resources to help answer them. As I said, I'm Marcy Bullock. I serve as a Director of Professional Development. We have a wonderful social media channel you can subscribe to to keep up to date on everything happening. What we, what we like to tell people is think about support from the entire village, that there's not one office or one building with 15, 20 people in it that can serve all the needs of students' career concerns. So we really see ourselves on our campus as like a parachute that's helping students to safely land on the ground when they graduate. So we need your help from the village to support, to support the students. Together, we can kind of nudge them towards using resources because they get so much pressure and judgment from themselves and from others in their lives. So this is a wonderful team we have available to you over in Poland Hall. We are here virtually during the pandemic and we are also open. So if students want to walk in, we have plexiglass, we have face masks, et cetera. We always mask up when we walk around our campus in 2020 and the beginning of 2021 and we'll see how long that lasts. Come on vaccines. First of all, resources. Does a career center, what do we have for your students? Oh my gosh, we have programs, we have experiences, we have career fairs. This is my favorite graphic, I love this. So we help students make career choices and we help students be ready for the transition from being a student to being a professional. So let's start on that left-hand side. During the semester, this semester, which is spring 2021, we have drop-in hours virtually. Students can go straight to our website and just click on the Zoom and they'll be in a waiting room from one to three every day that school is in session. We also have career counseling where students can log into EPAC and find a time for a 30 minute appointment with the counselor assigned to their college. We also have courses and seminars. We have USC 202, which is career exploration for two credits of free electives, 15 weeks of what should I be when I grow up. And we have USC 401, which is three credits. That's transition to the professional world. Again, free electives. We also have an honors class called Women in the Workforce, and we have our USC 203 class, which is Career Readiness for Career Ambassadors. Students have to apply to get accepted into that program. Career identity is now all online. Students can receive their certificates and it's gamified. There's a leaderboard. All students need to do is go straight to our website, enroll in the Moodle site, and they can receive a certificate after learning about their values, interests, how all of their competencies fit into the career paths that they might be considering. The podcast will pack career chats. I'll tell a little bit more about that on the next slide. I hope you all will apply and not apply, but actually um, subscribe. That's the word I want, whichever, wherever you listen to podcasts. Graduate professional school preparation is also available in our office. And for you wonderful advisors who go above and beyond to help students every day, we have career identity advocate. Dr. Goshal oversees that in our office. Um, go ahead and contact our office if you have any questions about getting your certificate, learning new tools to support students who are making career decisions. This is a program where you go through training on a weekly basis and add new tools to your toolbox to help students who are making career decisions. And that's all virtual this semester as well. Now we're into career readiness. So of course we help students with interview practice. All of our career fairs have gone online. So students can go straight to their phone and download Career Fair Plus. And we've had, I think over 11,000 interviews just in the fall semester virtually. No lines, no parking. Students will want to download Career Fair Plus. Hundreds of companies are coming to talk to students virtually. Also through EPAC, students can get their resume and cover letter critiqued. So again, they just log in to EPAC. They will see the times open and they can select a time or they can do those 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. drop-ins. They can talk about job search strategies. And I'll go over to the website in a second and show you the career guide, which is really helpful to students. 
Also our PAC Pro certification, students can get certified to be career ready. It takes about five hours virtually, and that's something that can document on their resume. So again, we used to do it in person, but our career ambassadors are now doing live and recorded workshops to help students with all of the topics such as LinkedIn, career fair preparation. So here's the go link for Wolfpack Career Chats. Every week we interview a new professional they could be alumni telling their inspiring stories about overcoming obstacles. And we all know that we need to hear a little bit more of that today in this entire challenge that we're going through with this quarantine. Here's a little more about Career Identity Advocate. I really wanna highlight that. Contact Dr. Goshal if you would like to get enrolled in that. She has trained and certified over hundreds of faculty member, and we hope that you might be one of the next ones to be involved in that. It goes on every single semester. So we're gonna go over and look at the career guide now. I'm going to um, stop this share and switch over to the website where you'll be able to see a little bit more about the Career Development Center. So this is our website. We have all our up-to-date information on what's going on with COVID. And then we also have information down below about some really exciting programs going on. So the virtual drop-ins are here. We're doing all kinds of fun things, improv to help you with the interview, partnering with Arts NC State, and then CareerCon, if you're watching this before February 22nd, uh, to February 21st, 21, 21. That's going to be on a Sunday. Students can register for that on EPAC. It's a great networking event. We also have some of our experts to help students to decipher how their strengths can be used in the professional world. And we have wonderful prizes. That's always exciting. Look at all the companies coming here. Uh, there's a long list of companies coming to CareerCon to 21, 21. And then under gain experience, that's where we have that career guide I've been referring to. That's really helpful. It's a 40 page guide that students can just get the PDF of, specifically here with resume help. We have our co-op program, which is fantastic. Our rural work program, which is fantastic. And again, if students are interested in enrolling in PAC Pros, they can go straight to the website and get involved in that. And these are all the topics that they will learn about. So Wolfpack fans, thank you so much for tuning in today. We hope you will enjoy sharing all this information with your students. Go Pack!